This past year has been emotional, certainly in the Twin Cities, but also across the world. We watched as George Floyd struggled to breathe under the knee of a Minneapolis police officer. What followed were passionate calls for justice and then actual justice in a Minneapolis courtroom. Today, we look back on a year that inspired change nationwide. Anger. These cars are honking. The, the energy here is just so high. Heartache. Impassioned calls for change. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. Minnesotans wasted no time telling law enforcement and lawmakers their thoughts on what happened to George Floyd at 38th in Chicago last May. I want y'all to know this. This is going to Washington. Yes! The case would go to Washington, but not yet. Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was fired and arrested just days after kneeling on Floyd's neck. He was charged with second and third degree murder and manslaughter. We have now been able to put together the evidence that we need. A trial was set and prosecutors and the defense got to work. Chauvin would go before a jury first. The other three officers charged will be in court next year. As violent unrest raged on worldwide, it became clear this case carried meaning well beyond a verdict. We know that we've got to do more than just seek justice for Mr. Floyd. We've got to really dig into the systemic uh, improvement of justice. Chauvin's trial started in March, and the world could watch every minute of it. Cameras were allowed in the courtroom, a first for Minnesota. A jury seated. Witnesses called. The next 15 days would tell the story of what happened on May 25, 2020, the day George Floyd took his last breath. I don't know what kind of improvised position that is. And it is certainly not part of our ethics or our values. After closing arguments, the start of deliberation. Then, just 10 hours later, a verdict. You could hear pin drop as community members waited outside the courthouse and at 38th in Chicago to hear the jury's decision. And then. We the jury in the above entitled manner as to count one unintentional second. <laughs> The emotion. Knowing that Minnesota is making an example, things are going to change. How could you not be moved by this? And everything that has happened here in our community, the air that we've been breathing in has been so thick. Like, how could you not be moved? George Floyd, justice for George Floyd. We got justice, guilty on all three counts. Let's get it. We broke down in tears when we heard the verdict. We were on the right side of history as we fought for justice for George Perry Floyd Jr. Say his name. George Floyd. Justice is now being sought on a national level. All four officers have been indicted on federal civil rights charges. The attorney general promised the Floyd family that he will fight for justice in their case. A judge will sentence Derek Chauvin on June 25th. He faces up to 40 years in prison.